Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows uses a platform called the .NET Framework, as many of you may know. And just in case you're unaware, if we just head over to Windows Update and our update history, you may have noticed this update being installed on your device on a regular basis called the .NET Framework 3.5 and 4.8.1 for Windows 11. And it's also available for Windows 10. Now, in case you're unaware, the .NET Framework is basically a development platform and that's made up of different programming languages, libraries, and tools for programmers and developers to build different types of apps and applications for different platforms. Now, the .NET framework isn't only used on Windows. It's an open source framework and platform, so it can be used on other operating systems like Mac OS and Linux. Now, if you are an average home user, um, the .NET framework isn't going to really be of interest from a day-to-day -day basis. But um, as an example, you may have found previously when trying to install a certain um, app or software on your system that it fails to install and can show up sometimes with a message saying um, this software or this app needs a certain version of the .NET framework um, to be installed on your system. So if you have found yourself in a situation like that previously or maybe just out of interest, um, in this video we're going to have a quick look at what at how you can look at what version of um, and find out what version of the .NET framework you are running on both Windows 10 and 11. And once again, you can follow the steps in this video on both operating systems. Now, we're going to be using um, Command Prompt and the Windows PowerShell. Those are the two easiest um, to get the best readings on both operating systems. And first of all, using Command Prompt, as I always mentioned, just type in Command in Search. That's the easiest way to get to that. And on Command Prompt, just run it as Administrator. And then at the prompt, we need to enter this command. Now, uh, for easy reference, I've just pasted these into Notepad, which I will leave in the description. So you can come copy and paste these commands um, for easy reference at a later stage, if that would be of interest. Now, the first is for command prompt, and the second command is using Windows PowerShell. So using command prompt, we're going to copy and paste the first command, because they're quite a mouthful. So as mentioned, I will leave those in the description. So at the uh, the prompt we just enter that command and then you just hit enter on your keyboard and there we go once that's run you can see the version 4.8.09032 and you can see that's duplicated in all the different um, aspects of the operating system so 4.8.09032 that's the exact version of um, the .NET framework you are running on your system now that's using command prompt so if we just close that out the next um, method is using PowerShell. And once again, the easiest I would say is just do a search for power. And on Windows PowerShell, once again, we have to right click and run it as administrator. So both command prompt and PowerShell need to be run as administrator. So just take note of that. Now at the prompt, once again, we're going to use the second command because it's quite a mouthful. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in. And at the prompt to enter that command, and then you once again hit enter and there we go here's the a version of the .NET framework you are running on your system 4.8.09032 that's the client the full version and then the client is version 4 so those are just two simple easy ways and um, you can find out what version of the .NET framework you are running on both Windows 10 and 11 in case as mentioned you may need to know what version you you, you are running for the installation of certain software or just out of interest. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.